gym results without going to the gym exercise in the bottle coming to a retailer near you <laughs> we'll talk about that in a little bit in this edition of hippie versus jock Just when you thought the world couldn't get any lazier, <laughs> they, they come up with this, man. <laughs> Apparently in Australia, they actually have uh, blueprinted like a thousand different changes in our bodies when we exercise. Somehow, some way, they managed to tie this to a drug which is literally exercise in a bottle so you can sit on your ass not do anything and get the effects of the gym i'm having a problem with this back in the day i can never say i i hated guys with steroids because because a couple of things I, I wasn't a steroid user i never considered myself natural but you know that's that's a personal thing for me just the way i interpret natural three meals a day and stuff like that but no matter what the people you saw with with bodies in in, in the gym working their ass off work for their bodies I can appreciate this. I used to spend time in the gym back in the day myself. In fact, I still go to the gym. I don't really do it for the same purposes nowadays, but the fact of the matter is these guys and, and, and women work in order to get the bodies that they have. Makes sense. They appreciate it. They'll make sure they put the right things in their body. They'll make sure they eat right. They'll make sure they get their sleep. They understand what's required as far as hard work in order to get results. Somehow, some way nowadays, results come in the pill. Everybody's looking for a pill and or the easy way to get things done. All I can really say is that's crazy. Oh, I'm not sure how everybody else feels about it, but I used to work my ass off in order to, to basically do bodybuilding and basketball. Uh, a lot of times my, my friends would, wouldn't un, un, understand. It was like I never considered myself a basketball player. I got decent for me. Not as good as I probably could have or, or should have been considering my size, how quick I was and how high I can jump. But I got a chance to play against NBA players pro players overseas and stuff like that and I didn't do bad I can't really say I thought I absolutely fit in with the guys but you know I did okay but in order for me to get okay I had to work my ass off you know I'm in the gym lifting weights and after I get finished lifting weights I would actually go out and play basketball shooting 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 dribbling running around back and forth probably why my body is in such a ray right now when I go try and play basketball I'm not sure if you're meant to be 6'3 255 pounds running around and, and, and jumping the way I was especially playing outside but for the most part, I have the appreciation for what I did and how I did it and the things I've managed to accomplish with my body during that time. And if they put out stuff like this, where's the appreciation for what you actually put in work to get going to come from? Everybody's going to be walking around with, with six packs. That's not right because you didn't work for it. 
<laughs> you actually need to put in some work and understand your body and the things you need to eat in order to make those things work. You're going to see people running around with six packs, sucking down beer, soda, sucking down McDonald's hamburgers and all the other sorts of crap. And they didn't put any work to do it. So I'm finding it interesting where our society is going. Nowadays, you can get the body you want or do the things you want and you can sit on your butt and not make anything happen to get it that's all i gotta say till next time i'll put the links in the description thanks for watching